we had a great time here. We, we'd go to the beach and roam around the village. Of course, I was kind of free because my mother was a working parent, so I was able to really roam and do it just as I wanted. Spent a lot of time at the beach. We'd explore over the moors, pick blueberries, play with all our friends. Uh, my brother, who was two years younger, and his name is Duncan Dempster, and he, I don't remember, he played with Kenny Holgate a lot. He and Kenny were fast friends as young, as young kids. Kenny was a little bit older. Kenny and uh, Dunk and I would go down to um, Tom Never's Pond, and we had a little boat that we kept in the, in the reeds there, and we'd go out and fish. And I remember that pond was bright red. There was something in the algae or something in the water, so that particularly in the day afternoon, that would just shimmer like a ruby in, in among the, uh, in the moors. It was the most beautiful red pond. And I guess we got a little perch and one thing and another, but we, we, had, a good, we had a good time. We would go to the dump and shoot rats. That was a very popular thing to do. The Sconset dump. There was a dump in Sconset then, and it was the dump. It's, there was no um, uh, Madigan Mall at the time. And the Sconset dump was not a mall in any sense of the word. You didn't go down there and hunt for... Did you? Oh, you oh okay. Did. Oh, you did? All right. <laughs> uh, I stand corrected. But there were lots of rats at the Sconset dump. When I was uh, in my teens, we would go to the Sconset Dump and shoot rats. And rat shooting at the dump was great fun. It was, uh, <laughs> everybody did it. And um, the Sconset Dump was a pretty neat place to go. But, uh, so that was part of our teenage recreation. During the time we were growing up, uh, a great deal of time was spent not only on the beach, but in horseback riding. There was a, a wonderful stable here run by a man by the name of Marquis Gwynn. And uh, he used to uh, rent horses and bring them from off island and bring them over to the island for the summer. And uh, you, could, you could pay to rent a horse for the summer and you could ride every day. And then during the hours you weren't riding, he rented it out to other people. And we were, my sister had a horse named Lucky, and I had a horse named Prince. And um, we did a great deal of riding out over the moors. And in the late, in the summer, we'd go out and pick berries and grapes and things like that. I guess I'm a bookman. I make okay. I used to play tennis. A lot of people play golf, but. If, if you um, are interested in just using your head, you can do that. As you can tell by looking around this room and the scattered nature of books and things. George Rogers was the town electrician. And uh, <clears throat> he was also the best fisherman in Sconset. And he was the one who used, the only one at the time, well, maybe not the only one, but he used a non-spinning reel. What do you call them? The kind that um, is not spinning, <laughs> that you needed your thumb to stop it with, and it burned up your thumb as it did. He taught all of us kids how to fish, and he liked kids. He, um, so he would take a couple of us down to the beach and give us one of his fishing rods, which nobody would do today. Fishing rods are private things. You, I want other people using them, sort of like your computer. Uh, and he would teach us how to cast. And I became a pretty good fisherman, I think, if I do say so myself, because George taught me how to cast. Uh, one of the things I can remember distinctly doing as a child, probably, was with Sheila and Sally. So we were 10 years old, 12 years old. We'd go down to Turtle Pond. Turtle Pond is on Milestone Road going outside of Sconset, just before you get to the old Sconset Golf Course, and it's on your left. And it, it was a pond, all right. There was plenty of water in it and, and flowers around the edge, but it also had uh, growth in it so that it was very spongy. And we could walk on top of that spongy stuff. It was like, a, um, like a walking on a mattress, and you'd whoosh up and down on this wonderful, but you didn't fall through. And it was the only place I've ever seen snakes 
on Nantucket. They were wa a water snake type, and they would slither around in our feet as we were walking around the pond. And it, we had a lot of fun going down doing that. And we, as I said, we went blueberrying, and I, I don't think we were into beach plumbing when we were 10 or 12, but, but we do it now. We've done it ever since, both of us. And it was a simple life. We had fun, great memories.